Hello, uh, in my previous uh, lecture, I introduced the concept of a force couple system. So let's try with a simple problem. Here I am showing a case where I am having bar A, B, C, D. There are four forces acting on the bar, 400 Newton upward, 400 Newton upward, 600 Newton upward and a downward force of 1000 Newton. And distance between the forces are 2 meter, 2 meter and 2 meter. Now you have to find equivalent force couple system and I am going to solve three different cases. In the first case, I am going to get an equivalent force couple system uh, at point G. Then I am going to get a force couple system, a force couple system at point G. Then a force couple system at point F. And then we will also try to find only a single force. If you will recall my previous lecture, we discussed two cases. You can get the same effect by either applying a single force or a force couple system. When you apply a single force, you have to also find the position of the single force. Basically, when we talk uh, in terms of a uh, book, uh, language generally given in the book, that we say that you have to find the resultant forces, force and its position which give the same effect. So, let's try to get the answer of these three cases sequentially. So first I will start with the case where I am saying that you have to find a force couple system which is acting at point G. So here is my point G and you know that how we get the force couple system. The first job when you want to find the force couple system the first thing is that you have to find the resultant of the forces. Please remember the first step is to get the resultant of the forces. In this case, there are only vertical forces. There is no other force. If there would have been horizontal force, then the problem become more complicated. But this is very simple case. We are having only vertical forces and the resultant of these forces will definitely be acting in the upward direction and its magnitude will be what? 4 plus 4, 8 plus 6, 14 minus 10. So I know that the resultant force is acting in the upward direction and its magnitude is of 400 Newton. So my resultant force is of 400 Newton. So this R is what? This R is of 400 Newton. Now when I am interested to find a force couple system for a particular given point, I have to assume the resultant force passing at that point as well as a movement pass, uh, acting uh, at that point. Now as this is my system which is showing where I am showing that either these four forces will act to the system or these two one force and one moment will act on my system but the effect remains same. Please remember when you are going to get an equivalent force couple system the equivalent force couple system give the same effect which is there because of the original forces. So now either these four force will act on the system or these two forces will act on the system. So now how you will get the M value because you know the resultant now but you have to find the M value. You, you can get this M value by, by taking the moment of the system. So as I discussed before that when you want to find, write the moment what you need to do you have to write the two equation one is the right hand side uh, sorry left hand side equation and the right hand side equation. The right hand side equation is going to cover the effect because of the resultant force and the moment and the left hand side is going to cover the effect because of the forces acting on the body that means these four forces. Now where I have to take the moment? You are free to take moment at any point in your system. Suppose I am going to take the moment at my C point. So this is my C point. So here is my C point. So suppose I am interested to find the moment at point C. So here is the equation of the moment at point C. How many forces are acting there? If you will see 400 into this distance 1000 into this distance, 400 into 0 and 600 into this distance. But before I write the equation, I need to fix my sign convention. So let's my sign convention says that the counterclockwise moment is positive. If I am fixing my sign convention, there's the counterclockwise moment is positive. So when I will write 400 into 4, this is my first moment. Now you see what is the sense of this? 
as I told you earlier, if you want to find the effect of this force in terms of direction of the moment, what you need to do, you again fix, put the bar here, keep the bar at C point and apply this force. When I will apply this force, the bar will rotate in the clockwise direction. So this is of clockwise sense, that means I am going to put a negative sign here. Now the second force, second force is acting 1000 and it is in the downward direction that means when I again I will keep the bar in this way and I will apply a force in the downward direction the rotation will be what? The rotation will be in the counterclockwise sense so this is a positive moment. 400 into 0 so doesn't it doesn't have any effect then the 600 into 2, 600 again which is acting in the upward direction so if I am going to again keep my bar and I am uh, uh, fixing my bar at point C or putting a pin joint at point C and I am applying 600 force again it will be counterclockwise sense so counterclockwise positive so this is positive now the same sign convention I have to apply for the right hand side so at the right hand side there are two forces acting one is the R again M M is free that means that M I am applying here it doesn't mean that uh, it will have any difference if I am applying M here or here or here it is a rigid body so doesn't make any change and I am considering that my counterclockwise movement is positive I have considered this movement counterclockwise this is my assumption it is not given in the question it may be clockwise or counterclockwise based on your choice here I have considered it counterclockwise so according to my sign convention this M will be positive now what is R effect of the R I am taking movement at point C R is at the right hand side so again it will give a counterclockwise movement so again the counterclockwise will be positive now when I will solve this equation I will get the value of M this uh, moment when I will solve this because R is 400 I am going to solve this I am getting this M is coming out plus 1200 Newton meter that means in addition to a 400 Newton force if I will apply a moment of 1200 Newton and the sense of this moment will be counterclockwise I will get the same effect which I am getting because of these four forces now as I said that I have to get the resultant force couple system for point F also so now I am going to solve the same problem but I am going to take my point of interest will become the point F here which is here only so again what I am going to do as the rule says that what you need to do first you have to find the resultant forces so what is my resultant force here here also the resultant will not change because these four forces the resultant will be of 400 Newton acting in the upward direction but here now my aim will not remain the same in addition to that now I have considered a M force which is of clockwise sense if you compare the previous problem here I have assumed my M in the counterclockwise sense but to check now I am assuming my M in the clockwise sense now again I have to write the left hand side equation and I have to balance it by the right hand side the right hand side is going to cover the M and R and left hand side is going to cover these four forces again now here I am taking the moment at point B now B is my point B is the point which is a point where the thousand Newton force is acting so now here in this case this is my point of interest and I am going to take moment at this point here is the equation of my moment you can see very clearly there, is, there are forces 400 into this distance which is 2 400 into 2 and 600 into 4 so 400 into 2, 1000 into 0, 400 into 2 and 600 into 4. If I am assuming now the counterclockwise moment is positive again. That means the 400 into 2 will be of clockwise sense so negative. 400 into 2 will be of counter counterclockwise sense. Sorry this is minus. This is plus. This is plus but doesn't have any effect. And the 600 into 4 it is again counterclockwise sense. So counterclockwise positive so it will be positive. Now the same rule I have to apply for the right hand side. Now my force R is acting in the upward direction and I am taking moment at this point C B. So this distance as I know from the actual figure that this is 2 and this is 2 so this is 1. So I have to write R into 1. So R into 1 and the aim now what are the sense R is in the upward direction I am taking movement at this point so again it is counterclockwise so positive but I have assumed my aim as clockwise so I have to put a 
negative sign here. Now when I will solve the equation, these two has going to cancel out. This is 600 into 4, that means 2400 and for R is 400. So I will get my M is coming out minus 2000 Newton meter. So what do you mean by this negative sign? The negative sign says that whatever direction I have assumed is not correct. Actually, there will be a 400 Newton force and a moment which will be in the counterclockwise direction. So when I am writing my answer, I will say that actually the equivalent system will look like that there will be a resultant force of 400 Newton and a moment which is of the counterclockwise sense and the 2000 Newton meter. When these two forces will act on my system, it is going to give the same effect which I am getting because of these four forces. Now the third part which says that if I am interested to find a resultant single force instead of having a force couple system now I have to find a single force which is going to give me the same effect as I am getting because of the four forces. So in this case when you want to find a single force you have to also find its position because now you are not going to apply a force and couple you are simply going to apply a single force that means you have to find the resultant and its position so here also i know that the resultant force is of 400 newton so my r is of 400 newton but where this 400 newton is acting as i don't know where it is acting what i can do I can consider that this 800 Newton is acting at this point. Suppose I this is acting at this point. And this is my resultant R of magnitude 400 Newton. And as I am interested to find its position, let's assume that this is acting at a distance x from this C point. You can take x from this b point, you can take x from this a point or from this d point. I am taking that this r is acting at this point at a distance x from point c. As I am taking the distance x from point c, now what is the next job? Next job is to write the equation for the moment. Here also what I can, what I will do? Again I will write the left hand side equation as well as the right hand side equation. At this time, we are. I am not going to write the moment, only one force will be there, but the rule remains same. You have to apply the moment at point C. So if I will write the equation of the moment at point C, what would be my equation? 400 into 4. So 400 into 4, 1000 into 2, 1000 into 2, 400 into 0. So I am not writing it and 600 into 2. So 600 into 2 which is going to be balanced by this resultant into x. So Rx. Now the sign convention. What are the signs? Let's assume this time the clockwise is positive. Why I am changing this clock to clockwise to so clockwise? So that you will have more practice. You can consider different convention and but then uh, your answer will remain. Uh, means it is for the practice basically. So what 400 into this 4 that is the clockwise so it is positive. 1000 into 2 that is counterclockwise so negative. 600 into 2 again counterclockwise so negative. Now R, R is acting in the upward direction. 400 into X is clockwise so I am going to put it positive. Now when you will solve this equation how this is 1600 minus 2000 minus 1200 is equal to r into x so my r is what 400 into x when you will solve this problem what you will get you will get that your x is coming out this 1600 by 4 so that is of 400 so this is 0 minus 4 meter what does what does it mean minus 4 meter says that first thing that the x is not toward the left of point C, the X will be towards the right side of point C. Okay, I consider. But the distance of the bar is 2 meter up to this point, but my answer is 4 meter. That doesn't matter. It may be 
within the bar or maybe outside of the bar so in this combination your answer is coming out 4 meter right side from point C so that is correct doesn't matter if you are confused you can take this R point anywhere in on the body but your answer will remain same suppose instead of taking the R at this point I will put my resultant force here I'll consider my distance x from here definitely your answer will be negative and the magnitude will give the same value but not the 4 because my 4 is from this force so here I, I will get if uh, you, you can cross check that instead of taking this this is my 400 this is my 1000 this is my 400 and this is my 600 if you will assume your resultant force is acting at this point x distance from here the magnitude is 400 newton and when you will take the moment at any point it is immaterial that you are taking moment towards left or right you can take moment at any point a b c d and when you will get you will get your x will come out minus 2 that means now i am assuming the x leftward but my answer is negative that means one thing the the x the force will be towards the right as well as the value will be minus 2 in previous case it was minus 4 because I have considered my x from this uh, force in the second case I am assuming my distance from this so the answer will not change, uh, same but the position of the force will be outside the bar and 2 meter towards the right from this end so in this way now I just like to summarize the three cases what I did here I have considered a problem in that problem I calculated the force couple system for point G the force couple system for point F and a single force with position so you you can say that the resultant force with position and here are the three answers in the first case my force couple system is here in the second case my force couple system is here and in the third case instead of having a force and a couple I considered that instead of taking a fixed position you can put force anywhere so that the rotational effect will automatic, automatically come into your system therefore I have considered a resultant force and I calculated the position which comes out right side 2 meter so in this way you can take any problem but you should keep in your mind that there will be two types of problem either you will get the force couple system when you are talking of force couple system position will be given if you are getting a single force that means the position is not given and you have to find the force as well as its position with this note I will close this session in the next I am going to solve very important problem which is also the combination of different forces but in that problem instead of having only the vertical forces I am going to get the horizontal and the vertical forces then the problem will be little complicated little lengthy but the concept will remain same thank you